Thank you for joining us in this class. Here we want to look at this problem. Which one is greater? Which one is the largest number there? So here, let's divide both sides by 49 raised to the power 51. So this side will now be 50 raised to the power 50 divided by 49 raised to the power 51. Then this side will remain 1. When we divide this side by 49 raised to the power 51, that will remain 1. So now let's work. Obviously, this side has no problem. This is 1. So let's work with this side to see what we have there. We can make the exponent to be equal. Since this is raised to the power 50, we can also let 49 be raised to the power 50. That means we separate 49 raised to the power 1 away. So that means we are going to have 50 raised to the power 50 divided by 49 raised to the power 50. Then multiply by 49. So we separate 49 out from there. Which we can also write again as we can also write this as since I have 50 raised to the power 50 on both sides, I can bring it out and say this is 50 over 49 or raised to the power 50. Then times 1 over 49. So that's what I have there. Then this 50 over 49 inside here, we can separate it now. And let it be 50 up, we can let it be 49 plus 1. So if I write it as 50 over 49, it now equals to 49 plus 1 over 49. So that this one, when we separate it into two fractions, it will now give us 1 plus 1 over 49. So instead of writing a 50 over 49 inside, I can equally write it as 1 plus 1 over 49. So that I will have 1 plus 1 over 49. Then all raised to the power 50 multiplied by 1 over 49. And also, this power here, which is 50 here, we want to write it in form of you know, 49. So that means I can separate the power and it will be it will be 1 plus 1 over 49 raised to the power 49. You know it will be plus 1 and I can split it as times 1 plus 1 over 49 that's what I have left for 1 plus 1 over 49 that's 1 plus 1 over 49 raised to power 50 has been splitted into 1 plus 1 over 49 raised to power 49 times 1 plus 1 over 49 then times 1 over 49 that we have here. So this is what I have to work with now. Then from here now, I can see that something is unique here. We have something that in form of, in mathematics, 1 plus 1 over n raised to power n. This one has the limit tends to infinity. As n tends to the limit as n tends to infinity here, as n tends to infinity here is equals to e. Whereby this e is a number which is less than 3. We have e is 2.718 and so on and so forth. It's an irrational number. So and obviously we see that it is less than 3. So because of that, we can write this one as a number less than 3. So this is a number less than 3. Then we can then say that here we have a number less than 3 and of course times multiply by this side 
we can also say is our 50 over 49, yes. We can write it as 50 over 49, then times on this side we have 1 over 49. And uh, here we don't have problem with this, this is greater than 1. And also I can replace this as a number less than 1 over 6. This number is less than 1 over 6, so I can write this as less than 1 over 6. It implies that all this one now will be less than 3 times 50 over 49. So it will be less than 3 times 50 over 49, which is, you know, times 1 over 6 now. Since 1 over 49 is less than 1 over 6, so I can replace that with 1 over 6. And obviously we can say that here, We have 3A1, 3A2, and what I have here is a number that is 3, okay, 3 has gone here, that's 2 here, that's 50 over 98 now. And obviously here, from here, 50 over 98 is a number that is less than 1. So it is less than 1. Then when we compare this, and what we are solving here is the number on the left hand side. Is our number on the left hand side, which is from what we are given, which is obviously 50 raised to power 50, and it is less than 1. And on this side, when we compare it with this side, we say this one, this one is 1, and this one is, you know, 50 raised to power 50, or 49 raised to power 50, 51. And since this number is less than 1, it means that I can put something less than 1 here. I can put less than 1 here. It means 50 raised to the power 50 is less than 49 raised to the power 51. So that gives this one is the largest number. Thank you for joining us in this class. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. We say thank you for joining us and bye for now.